Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you all the brand new cars that were added in the Driving Empire update and the brand new features too. So, uh, before I get started though, I want to explain that the cars in this video that you see right now are probably not going to be accessible when this video is out. Because as you can see, only 282 this remaining on like only 1.2k coup dashes are there. So, uh, you may as well... Just, just don't question it in the comments below. Now, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get right into it. So, um, the first thing I want to do was show you all the brand new Jambella GT, which I think is the, the, the prime team that's gonna be in this update. So, first thing I wanna do is show you all an exterior overview, and then I'm gonna give you guys some performance tests and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, this, this is the Jambella GT right here. It's the stock brand. This is my spec right here. Yeah, I copied it off Google, but whatever. It still looks pretty cool. So, I mean, as you can see, quite a nice looking card, actually. It's not nice actually, I'm, I'm underestimating that. It's actually beautiful. I mean, the tail lights and everything just it looks really, really nice. I mean, you just gotta admit, like, this is one of the most hottest cars that have been added to Driving Empire. Like, the specking potential for this car is just insane because, like, you could have many different kinds of specs. Like, right here, we got this, like, Halloween looking spec. I don't even know. I mean, I just, I've seen lots of, lots of really good looking specs. Like, I mean, that's that dark blue and yellow one also. Nice. Yeah, definitely quite cool. And, uh, and I'm going to show you all the interior real quick. So this is going to be one of our disguise, uh, Jambella. It's pretty nice, you know. Got the carbon fiber. It's got the steering wheel. And uh, my favorite part is the secondary is on the seatbelt. So you can have like red, green, purple, whatever seatbelt color you want, just depending on what secondary color you choose. Just definitely one of my favorite features of this car. So yeah, now it's time to test it. Alright guys, so now it's time to test the Jambella GT, and I just gotta say though, these two things are just so beautiful to look at, especially in this nice silver green spec, it's just such a beautiful car, but yeah, anyway, I'm gonna get to it, so this is the, uh, the startup right here, definitely quite aggressive, I mean, I would say, like, my favorite, but it's definitely quite nice, so now let's go ahead and actually test the acceleration to 3, 2, 1, I also wanna point out that this car is stock, so overall, actually, the acceleration and just overall performance, Honestly, it was just a lot worse than I expected. I mean, it's not really that great in comparison to other cars in the price range. Now, you could argue that this is a collector's car, but like, just from the outside, like, when you look at this thing, the, the looks are really deceiving, because it's actually a lot more slower than it looks. Like, I was surprised by how slow it is. I mean, the handling, though, overall, I would say is actually not that bad. I mean, I guess it's pretty, it has pretty good handling. I guess it just goes for track performance, something like that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it can top out a 208 mile per stock with nitro it can go up to 221 but that's all you're going to be hitting with the Jambella GT. Braking is also it's actually kind of bad too, it's not really that good. Now, I'm actually to my surprise this car actually just has a like, built-in arrow, it's not actually active so that's definitely interesting. Now we're going to try out the max performance. Alright guys, so right here we got the Lamborghini Countach, so this is probably going to be my favorite car, the update just from the looks, I honestly just, I just love this car, it just, it looks really, really nice, the exterior detail is awesome, you can see every single, like, went right here, it's got that airplane like design, I just, I really like how this car looks, honestly, I mean, there's no denying it, the interior, really, really good, I think, I mean, you might look at this and determine that it doesn't have that much detail, but you have to remember that this is a classic car, that's, Probably why, but I mean, I mean, on the steering wheel, I mean, it just looks kind of dumb. You can see, like, that's clearly probably not gonna be how it looks like in real life. Like, it, it ought to have more detail. I mean, overall, I just give it a 4 out of 5. A pretty solid car. You steer definitely also a solid 4 out of 5. It looks really, really good. And I really like those rims, too. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys this startup, and then you will get to the performance test. So, definitely quite a nice. Alright guys, now it's time to test the acceleration and performance of the Countach Turbo. So right here we got a fully stocked Countach, that looks really nice, especially this nice yellow spec. So yeah, without further ado, we're going to get into it. 3, 2, 1, go. So first thing first, I'm going to have to tell you the acceleration or the 0 to 60 itself is outstanding. Like, dude, I don't know if this is like actual realistic, but I think it's probably not. Because like this thing is crazy quick, like is it probably as fast as the Jabella GT. This thing, it has really good middle gears and then like it does slow down at the really end, but still 
It topped out a 2 4 mile per hour, which is actually really, really good. That's only 4 mile per hour under the Jambella GT. Overall, hand leg, it's, it's kind of stiff, but it controls pretty well. I mean, it's definitely not the best. It's not going to be as good as the Jambella, but it's not that bad. The braking is actually pretty decent. So overall, the Countach surprisingly is quite a nice and actually fast car. Alright guys, so right here we got ourselves a Max Countach, like always, it actually looks beautiful in this spec, I gotta give credit to this guy right here, it looks really nice, so yeah, I guess without further ado, we're gonna try in 3, 2, 1, and my lord, by, by 0 to 60 itself, you can tell this thing is like a rocket ship, like dude, that is, that is crazy quick, and I think this might be able to even compete with the drag car, but this is, this is surprisingly fast, it tops out at 251 miles per hour, just a bit under the Jambella from what I know. But one thing I will say though is after Max this out, you could not handle this car. Like, it is stiff, like a rock. So that's definitely one thing you want to consider. But overall, this thing is really, really quick in straight line speed. I just gotta give it to them. Alright guys, so now it's time to review all the new customization changes. So off the bat, you can see when you click the customization menu, you got now a appearance before in section they already had that but that's still pretty cool so they spaced everything out got it all nice and organized so for performance i mean now they've added this new feature where if you click something it will like it will tell you like the increases of each upgrade so like i mean right here yeah it's definitely quite cool and uh if you were to add like slippery tires or something like that it looks like it'll just show it'll, like it'll show you the upgrade which is definitely quite interesting like it, it, it's got port and all of that which is something i actually find quite interesting because now we can like determine if you want to make the upgrade or not depending on how much of an increase it makes to our vehicle so uh, yeah that's cool now right here um also i forgot to mention this but they've added like these new menu icons which is pretty cool so i mean it doesn't really change anything but like when you get to the paint options now it has a brand new menu so let's say i wanted to make this green it will show so I mean, first things first, they have a new outline of the color that you've got. So, I mean, as you can see, this green is reflected right there, right here, and at the very top of that color field. Now, let's say if you want to drop it and stuff like that, it will also be reflected on this, I guess, style. So, I believe this is like the RGB number picker. So, let's say I entered like a bunch of di digits. So, I'm going to say 50, 50, 50. And you'd end up with gray right here, which is pretty cool. But, I mean, now you can, like, you can probably spec a car. Look at the numbers right here and then like be able to share your spec really easily better than having your friend like probably take hours to try and find it so that's definitely good for specking something i'll have to say is a good thing they've done default colors are still pretty cool i, I guess they added a separate section for that now i mean other than that i don't really see anything else that they changed yeah that's definitely quite interesting i also wanted to say that the devs now added sprinting which is operated by holding down shift Definitely quite a cool feature, and I'm glad they did this because now traveling will be a lot more convenient than just sprint around like that. And uh, my fat avatar can finally get an exercise, which is also something that's definitely quite nice. So, yeah, pretty cool. So, guys, they also added some brand new, uh, I guess, global leaderboards. So, like, I guess they're gonna have a top three for everything. So, right here, they have the top three most cash. And, you know, got this dude right here who has the most cash in the game right here. So I mean, now you can actually see yourself in a leaderboard. And you can take pride in owning lots of money. So uh, they also have a miles-driven leaderboard. So I mean, this considers the amount of miles you have right now. Fortunately, I'm not there, but that's definitely cool because these people are all getting credited for um, their branding and everything like that. And they also have a casher and weekly. So all the noobs who aren't as like sweaty and you haven't played the game as long as these guys you still have an opportunity to put yourself in the leaderboard so all you have to do is just earn lots and lots of cash and you'll put yourself up there which is definitely also quite a nice feature overall opinion i like it i mean i think they could add more um, leaderboards like best race time and stuff like that i think that also quite cool but yeah that's definitely quite interesting all right guys so overall i'm gonna give you guys my opinion the update so for this update, I mean, I just give it like a 4 out of 5 rating. One of my favorites, I felt like it was overhyped and delay and everything. It, just, it, it took a while to come out, but like, and overall, like, just to say, to me at least, I didn't really find the new cars to be that special. I mean, it might be different depending on who you are. But I mean, like, for example, like this Jim Bell GT just seems like a collector's car. It's already sold out, unfortunately, but I wasn't really for buying it. I mean, I mean, yeah, because I wanted to collect it, but like, if you really think about it, it just. I don't know because it does have really good backing potential, but like performance-wise and everything, you're not going to be seeing this around. 
So this is probably just going to be one of those occasional used cars where you can probably pull it out once in a while, probably drive it around. But that's, that's probably going to be the only purpose you'll have this car for. Maybe also car shows, but yeah. And the Coot Dash Turbo is probably my favorite part of this update. I really like this car. Um, it, it is really good, and I will probably, I might even consider making a review of this because it is so fast. It is definitely a car you want to buy if you're going to buy any team this update, but this is definitely also lots of fun. Only 2k of these cars will be there, so yeah, this is definitely a good purchase option right here. And uh, yeah, overall, I mean, quite a solid update. They did what they had to do. I mean, I feel like, I mean, they didn't really add that much, but that's still pretty cool. So uh, yeah, comment down below what you thought of today's update. Uh, if, you, if you thought this was nice or something like that, go ahead and, you know, comment that down below and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Make sure that you join the Discord server, WTJC Gaming, and the, uh, the Wave for or I mean, the Driving Empire Discord server. You can get updates and all of that. And, yeah, it's definitely quite cool. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, because we're trying to, you know, grow the channel. And, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.